in this video. Here is all the food I tried in the hospitality box at the India vs Australia final in Ahmedabad but first, as usual, the crowd was very well managed, only making us walk through garbage to enter the world's biggest Narendra Modi stadium. Then the crowd suddenly vanished as I was in the presidential gallery hospitality box to which you could take this battery operated buggy. Then you're given this wristband and then sent up to the stand where the views created by the Surya Kiran aerobatic team were insane. This is their victory formation. This one is the DNA, just breathtaking stuff. Unfortunately, we lost the toss and the Indians were put to bat first. But before the game started, I could enjoy the national anthem one last time this World Cup. and in spite of all Australians feeling like Ravindra Jadeja, we got off to a blistering start thanks to Captain Rowe. <laughs> now considering the ticket was only for rupees 25,000, it was shocking that they didn't have black coffee. So I settled for water which thank God was available easily. However, Meanwhile, Kohli and KL racked up a 50 run partnership so I celebrated with this instant bail. It's not wet but it's pretty good. After Kohli got his half century, he left the crease, so even I did to try some of Taj Skyline's lunch. The Tom Yum soup felt a bit watered down. Then they started wrapping up lunch, so all that I could manage was this small plate. It took me like three days to find a table as most of them looked like my friend's ex's dining table. Anyway, the chunky paneer in the creamy makhni gravy was nice but the Asian greens looked sad and tasted sad too. Finally, the mixed vegetables were neither good nor bad but How can they serve just vegetarian food at a World Cup final? Back outside, Aditya dropped by. KL managed to get to his 50, so I managed to get to this Mysore Park. Tasted yum with a nice caramelized golden brown crust. We lost wickets. Even Ranveer couldn't get the crowd going as India somehow managed to set a target of 241 runs. During the innings break, I got in line for some Guju snakes. Dhokla, my spongy savory soulmate, one I normally relish, went all hard and dry on me. Then this wet shami kebab was an insult to the name shami. I mean, bhai took a wicket as soon as he was brought on. <laughs> then it was time for this kachori chaat. Crunchy and flavorful, definitely worthy of a second bite. But the crispy fried vegetable was as soggy as it gets, fully drenched in oil and had a taste that made me question Taj Skyline's culinary capabilities. On the field, the Indians were playing Santa, generously giving away extras. However, a few wickets fell in no time. <laughs> We raised a fan at toast for the wickets. Cold, fizzy. Love it. Followed it up with some fafada. Nothing faffing fun about it, but what was fun was this laser show. <laughs> then the Australians came back into the game and how. Heads batting gave me a headache, so I got some tea, which was great, but it didn't help because right after, he got his 100. <laughs> and helped the awesome Aussies lift their sixth World Cup. I don't know how to put this in words, but this is the worst feeling when you just hope that things would have been different, hope that wish someone made a different shot, but this is hard, like it, it hurts and I hate it. Then I caught this spectacular drone show celebrating the World Cup, Tricolors and Champions Australia. I was probably the last to leave with a very heavy heart, but I can say that I saw it all. It's been a hell of a World Cup thanks to this team, super proud.